Hey everyone, it's Ryan with The Smart House, and on today's video, we're gonna take a look at a product that just showed up on my doorstep a couple days ago. This is the new SwitchBot lock system from SwitchBot. Now, if you remember SwitchBot, a lot of their products are automating things that don't have automation set up for them before. So I remember I used the SwitchBot bots to control my coffee pot, and you can use it on some existing light fixtures. Well, now they have this new retrofit kit for an existing deadbolt that allows you to add some smarts to it. And this has gotta be one of the simpler setups that I've ever done. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you what comes with the kit, how to get it installed and set up, and some of the cool add-ons that you can use to give it cloud connectivity and add a keypad. So let's jump in. So the main thing you're gonna notice when you open the box is the lock mechanism itself. Now this system is a retrofit where you will fit this over your existing deadbolt. It comes with three different adapters that allow for different sizes of deadbolt heads that you can fit it over. And it has this interesting little mechanism that allows it to align even if you can't get the alignment perfect. Now these locks run off of three CR123 batteries, which are pretty large, but you'd have to have enough power to be able to turn most deadbolts. Also included in the kit is this small magnet, which is used for the lock to know if the door is open or closed so it can send you an ajar alert. You cannot see the door open status inside of the app, probably because of battery limit. Also included is one of these SwitchBot tags, which can be used with an NFC enabled phone to trigger an automation in the SwitchBot app. So you can stick this somewhere, when you wave your phone over it, opens the app up, turns the lock on or off. And finally, you get some extra adhesive and a cleaning pad to clean the surface before you stick it on for a nice strong fit. Now quickly, let's talk about how this lock works. Now if you remember the other SwitchBot products I've talked about in the past, the primary communication protocol is Bluetooth. So this system will work entirely without a hub. You can actually just buy the lock, attach it to your door, and be able to control it using your phone. Obviously your phone will need to be in range of the lock for that to work. Now if you wanna use the lock when you're away from your house, or with a third party app like IFTTT, Google Assistant, or Alexa, you'll need one of their hubs. So if you have the hub, you can use the method I showed you in my last SwitchBot video to be able to pull data and control things via the API. So this means you can integrate this with Home Assistant. It's not directly integratable with Home Assistant, but if you follow that video, it's pretty simple to set up. All right, so now that we know how the system works, getting it installed is a snap. So before you stick the lock to the door, the first thing you wanna do is hold up each of these adapters to your lock and make sure you have the right size one that'll fit snugly. Now I'm gonna look at 3D printing one of these to get an exact fit so it fits tighter, but for now my lock will take the medium size just fine. Once you find the right size adapter, go ahead and snap it into the lock and remove all of the tape, including the tape in the battery door. Now if yours doesn't have any tape in the battery door, you'll need to open up the battery door, pull out the batteries, put them back in again to reset the lock. Then you're gonna to wanna to hold the lock unit up to the door, align it, and then make sure you can easily turn the thumb screw on the back of the lock unit and it will turn your deadbolt. If you have problems with this, make sure you check your alignment. And also, if your lock is old and it is difficult to turn, this may not work for you and you may risk breaking the lock mechanism. So before you get started, make sure your lock is nice and clean and has a nice smooth throw. If like me, your lock doesn't fit the first time, you can use these adjustment pieces inside of the battery housing to push the plate out to give yourself a little bit more room before mounting the lock. Once you're sure the lock mechanism is gonna work fine for you, you can go ahead and remove the sticky tape on the back of the lock and stick it back in place on your door. Once it's stuck in place, make sure that you can turn the thumb screw freely and it locks and unlocks the deadbolt. Then we're gonna go ahead and open up the SwitchBot app and it will step us through the calibration process. So once we add the lock into the app, we will step through the calibration process one step at a time, can properly function, open and closing, and, and how to apply the magnet so the door can know if it's ajar or not. So once the lock's calibrated, test it a few times in the app and make sure it works out where you want it to. Now, if we go into the application, we can change a few settings like automatically locking the door when the door is shut, which in my case, I won't be using because that would end up locking my kids outside when they go out to play. You can also set notifications like door being left ajar or door staying unlocked for too long. So now that we've seen how the lock works and how to get it installed, let's talk about one of the optional accessories. Now there are two different versions of the keypad. Now these will communicate directly with the lock over a secured Bluetooth connection. This is the regular version, and there's also a version that has a touch ID or fingerprint scanner on. This one can either be unlocked using the code or an NFC card that is included in the box. Now there are two options for mounting these keypads. 
One being the traditional screw mount using the back plate here. It, it comes with a hardware kit which contains the screws and anchors needed to mount this to a wall. Now this back plate slips securely onto the back of the keypad. Also included is a handy template guide that you can stick on the wood frame before you install it. Now because I'm using this on my back door and it's basically nobody's gonna see it anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and just use the second method, which is the sticky mount. So they include a nice piece of 3M VHB tape that you can use to stick to the mounting plate and then use that to secure the keypad to the door frame. Now the keypad also runs off of two CR123 batteries similar to the lock. And of course, since this is an outdoor product, it's fully weatherproofed with a nice weather seal on the back of the keypad. The keypad also has a tamper function to let you know if somebody attempts to steal this. So once you've connected this to the wall, and if you remove it, it'll start beeping. To stop it beeping, you just have to enter your code and hit the OK button. Now another nice feature is there's a couple of tiny LEDs here at the top which will indicate whether the, the door is locked or in the unlocked position. So you'll know if you can't hear the lock cycle, you'll know when that's safe to go ahead and attempt to open the door. Now, to remove the keypad from the mount, you just need basically a SIM card puller, which is included in the box. It fits in a small hole in the bottom, which will allow you to slide it free of the backing plate, but that will set off the tamper alarm. So just remember you have to put your code in to stop the tamper alarm. Now, the SwitchBot requires a six to 10 digit code to be able to use it. So you can't use something like a four digit pin like some of my Z-Wave locks will. So you do have to have a six digit pin or you can use the included NFC card to make unlocking even easier. So once the keypad's installed, you can both control locking and unlocking from it. Now, if your outdoor is leaving and you wanna lock the lock, you just have to press the lock button on the keypad you don't actually have to enter the code to lock the lock and it will indicate when the door is locked or if there's an issue, it will notify you on the keypad. Now to unlock, all you need to do is type in your six digit code and press the check mark button. And you'll notice it will flash an LED in the corner indicating it's attempting to unlock. And once it chimes, you know the door is unlocked. Pretty simple, but also pretty powerful and an easy way to add security to your existing lock. Now pairing the keypad is just as easy as pairing the lock. You need to go through the setup instructions in the app. It'll walk you through adding the keypad to your phone, then connecting the keypad and the lock together, and then finally being able to add in both pin codes and NFC cards. Now adding a passcode is extremely easy. You just open up the SwitchBot app, select the keypad, press the plus button, and you can create one of a variety of pin codes. You can select permanent, which is a permanent code typically used by the owners of the house, or you can create a temporary code, which allows you to create a pin that has a time to expire. It'll start at a particular time and end at a particular time. You can also create a one-time code that will only be used one time and then it will automatically disable itself. It also has a cool feature called emergency passcodes, which this would be something you say give to a relative or a neighbor. Now, if you have your keypad connected to a hub, then it will actually send you an email if this code is used. So again, this is super useful to give to the local police department or a neighbor if they have to get in your house in an emergency situation. That way you'll be notified if they happen to be the ones that open the door. In addition to pin codes, you can also enroll one of these NFC cards. To do that, all you have to do is hit the, tap the plus button on the NFC tab and you can select where you want it to be permanent or temporary. Then you just hold it up to the keypad and give it a name. Then all you need to do when you have the NFC card is just tap it to the keypad. You don't even need to wake it up. And I'm assuming you can purchase more of these through the SwitchBot website. Now also in the application, there are some options for the keypad. You can enable or disable the lock button. If you don't want somebody to have the capability of locking the lock from the outside, you can disable that. Or you can set it to where it's only enabled when the door is closed. You can also disable the keypad. Say you're going on vacation and you don't want anybody to use it. You can also disable that tamper alert I told you about, or you can disable notifications. And finally, you can adjust the backlight brightness or set it to automatic. And then of course, in here, you can select which lock it's paired to, and you can also select if it's activated to a hub or not. Now, one thing to note is to make sure you update the firmware immediately when you get the lock and the keypad installed. I had a major issue where I didn't update the lock's firmware and I was unable to bind it to the keypad. So make sure when you get that notification, you accept it and go ahead and go through the process. You will need to leave the phone on and connected and awake to be able to do the firmware update, but it is a pretty fast process under about two minutes. They also added a new feature that allows you to use a dual lock. So say you have two deadbolts on a door, you can put two lock systems on there and then they can be treated as one in the app, which is kind of a nice add-on. So who are these locks for? Now, this would be a great smart lock to add if you happen to live in an apartment because you can place this and the keypad without any damage to the door frame whatsoever. This is also good if you don't really want to mess around with the lock hardware. If you don't have the confidence to say replace the entire back like some of the other locks like the August lock, this is great because you can just slap it right on and you're ready to go. This may not be a great option if you have a tighter space because that locking mechanism does stick out quite a bit or it's in a high traffic area where it could get knocked off. 
But overall, I think it's a great system, especially if you're already in the SwitchBot ecosystem. Now, I don't think the hub is a requirement, but I do think it's an excellent add-on, especially with the other features that you get with the hub, like infrared control or other devices. I have mine here in the kitchen living room area, and it allows me to control a fan, a TV, and a sound bar, in addition to doing all the other functions that it provides. So if you're gonna get one of these, I suggest getting the kit that has the keypad, the lock, and the hub if you don't have a hub already. So if you're interested in any of these products, I have links down in the description below. Please keep an eye out on the pinned comment because they do have some sales going on right now and we'll have sales going on in the future. I'll continue to update that pinned comment as new sales come down the pipe. All right, so there you go. There's my overview of the new SwitchBot lock and keypad. Now, these are available both in a bundle where you can get both the lock and a keypad at a discounted price, or you can purchase just the lock and then follow it on with one of the keypads at a future date. Thank you again to SwitchBot for sending me all this gear to take a look at today. And if you'd like to see my other videos on SwitchBot products, please click on this playlist right here. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo right here. Thanks again, I'll see you on the next video.